Hey guys, welcome to How to Draw Anything. Today we will be drawing the face of Tanjiro from the hit anime Demon Slayer. We will be drawing him chibi style, so we will use this action figure as a reference. If you're ready, grab a paper and a pencil and let's get ready to draw. Let's look for the center of our paper and mark it with a very light X. It's important that we divide up Tanjiro's facial features so we can draw it in proportion. We will draw a very light horizontal line for the top of his head and the bottom of his face. Next, let's divide this in half. And then we will divide the halves in half again, giving us four equal parts. One for his hair, one for his forehead, one for his eyes, and one for his lower face. We'll begin drawing his head by drawing a rainbow shape in the section of his forehead and eyes. For his lower face, we will draw a very wide triangle with a soft point. can see me here correcting my work. Just wanted to bring down the line a little bit. Now let's work on his eyes. We are going to divide his face vertically into three equal sections. The space in between the eyes should always be the same width as one eye. Remember this rule as it will help you draw other anime characters as well as realistic portraits. You can see that I'm just adjusting the line tier to make sure they are all evenly spaced. Here I am measuring with my pencil to make sure the spaces are even. Near the bottom of the line of the eyes, let's draw a very wide triangle with a very soft point. If you notice, Tanjiro's eyes are rounded heptagons, which means they have seven sides. At times it appears to have a rounded shape and they do have very soft corners, but by breaking it down into the seven steps, it makes it easier to draw him and more realistic. Let's draw two lines going up and let's make them just a little bit wider than the bottom as they go up. Now let's draw the top of his eye. 
Let's draw a short line at a slight angle going up and inward on each eye. Now let's draw a longer line that goes towards the center and slightly angles up. Now we will draw a short line that connects the top to the side of the eye. Let's make the line on the top of his eyelid a little bit darker and wider by creating a parallel line right under the middle line of the top of the eye. From there we can make a short line in an angle that follows the shape that we have already drawn for Tanjiro's eye. Let's make them more narrow towards the end where we connect it to the other line. Now let's draw the inside of his eye. Tanjiro's iris is actually in the shape of a hexagon, so it has six sides. So let's draw a wide, soft triangle with a rounded point close to the bottom of the eye and slightly towards the center. We are going to draw a soft hexagon similar to the way that we drew the outside of the eye. Now let's draw the side of the iris by drawing two lines going up. We will repeat the wide soft triangle at the top. Once you finish drawing the lines, you can trace over them and work on making any corner soft and slightly rounded. Next is Tanjiro's pupils. They are soft diamond shapes. We will start by drawing two soft rounded triangles in the center of the eye, and then we'll close it off on the bottom by drawing an upside down triangle or V shape, keeping in mind that we want rounded corners. Let's add some details to his eyes. We will start with a zigzag shape across the middle of his eyes, leaving out the pupils. The top half will be colored in black, which fades to the bottom half, which is a dark pinkish color. I first shade the top half very, very dark. Next, I shade the bottom half very light. Then with the same intensity as I shaded the lighter half, I do some shading in the middle where they meet to keep the transition smooth where the colors meet into each other. Now I'm just repeating the same thing on the opposite eye. We're going to color the top half as dark as we can. We'll color the bottom half light. And then in the center, we will repeat the light shading to help transition from the light to the dark, or I should say from the dark to the light. We can fill in the top part of his eyelid as well. Next, let's draw some eyebrows.
sorry guys, starting at around the same level as the corner of the top eyelid, draw a line at a sharp angle going up. Try to keep this line close to his eyelid on the inner parts of the eyebrow. Tanjiro is upset because Nezuko has, you know, been turned into a demon, so. Draw a short line upwards and create a very skinny triangle that connects to the bottom line. And then you can fill this in with your pencil. So as I was working on this eyebrow, I thought I should maybe fix the line for his face. So I'm just going to erase that and just make it a little tiny bit wider so that I have a little distance between the side of his face and the end of his eyebrow. ready to draw his nose. Yay! Near the bottom of his left eye, let's draw a short vertical line that slightly curves inward. Right under it, let's draw two short and tiny horizontal lines for the nostrils. Just going to make my eyebrows a little bit darker. Now we can draw the mouth. It's turned down because, like I said earlier, Tanjiro is angry that Nezuko, his sister, was turned into a demon. We will draw it with a, a little bit thicker out towards the corners and give the corners a rounded edge. Now we can erase those guidelines that we drew at the beginning of the drawing for his face. And remember, if you erase a line that's part of the drawing, just make sure to retrace it when you finish erasing. Oops, I almost forgot to draw the lines for his eyelid crease. So we're going to be adding those.
So there I'm adding his eyelid crease. And now we are going to be just shading and retracing some areas that came out a little bit light so that we can have a nice sharp picture. Now let's draw his hair. Starting near around the left eyebrow, draw an arch line with an end shape that curls up near the bottom part of his face and then makes a sideways V shape, but don't close the line all the way. Leave a space in between the line and the face. Now let's draw at the same starting point as the last line, another line that follows his face. And then when you reach under his eye, Draw another sideways V, this time towards the inside, and don't connect it to the other line yet. In between those two lines, let's draw a line going down and finish it with a curvy point that connects to his face. Now let's draw more hair on the top. Let's draw starting from the same starting point as the first line we drew for his hair. We can begin with a few strands towards the right in the shape of a slightly sideways rainbow arch or like a lowercase n shape. We can add a curly point as well coming up from the back for this strand. And then we can repeat the arch shape. This part is tricky, so I had to correct it a few times, but Tanjiro's hair is always blowing in the wind and it's pulled back into a loose ponytail so you can make it in your own way. Here I am fixing my mistakes. On the top, let's draw a backward C shape, and from there, let's draw an S shape and meet at our original hair starting point. I actually make a mistake here that I will correct later, and you'll see this in the video. Now down the side of his face, let's do a short strand by drawing a line straight down his face and then form, forming a curvy J shape. We will draw a line parallel to this one and connect it at the bottom. Now let's draw a strand from the top that forms a J shape but does not connect to the rest of the hair. In between, we can draw a C shape towards his face. And now I'm just adding more waves to his hair. Now let's draw the mark of the Demon Slayer. Let's start by drawing a sideways V shape and let's keep drawing the same kind of line towards the eyebrow and then work our way up and out towards his face. This looks very similar to a bat wing. So it comes down close over his eyebrow and then kind of just works his way outward towards his face. On the top, let's draw a similar line, leaving a part of the skin without the mark of the Demon Slayer. We can now clean up any lines or smudges, and we can erase any guidelines that we forgot to erase.
so we can retrace some of our lines to improve the quality of our work. After looking at my drawing, I wanted to improve the hair. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to erase these lines. We're going to make them a little bit smaller. We're going to bring up the bottom strand just a tiny bit. And remember, you can always correct your lines if you want to make them look a little bit better before you color. this one just a little bit smaller. I think this looks better. Now it's time to color and I'm just using a red violet crayon to trace his hair. I color the hair with a brown crayon. We color his skin with a peach crayon and then we trace the whole thing with a black crayon with a sharp point. Kind of like to give it the feel of a sharpie. So here you have him guys. I hope you had fun drawing Tanjiro's face. If you want to draw his Hana Furu card earrings, be sure to check out my video showing you how to draw it step by step. I hope you had fun and thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. See you next time. Bye!